This video provides a guide on how to clone an MBR system disk to GPT with the free tools. It's free to convert the OS disk into GPT using MBR to GPT, the command provided by Windows. Here we go with the CMD. The disk zero is the system drive. Now use this code to convert it GPT. It says conversion failed. Disk layout validation failed for disk zero. Here are some possible reasons for the conversion failure. It may fail when the disk contains more than three partitions. The recovery partition should be counted into three two. And no extended or logical partition allowed. The disk 1 has a logical drive, and there are more than 3 partitions. One to three and four partitions. The most allowed partitions are three. So, you need to delete this one. You can delete it when you have backup data on this partition to another drive. Now we use this one to see whether it's okay. The validation completed successfully. Then we use this command again. It says conversion completed. If it says cannot find room from the FI system partition, you may shrink and move partitions to reallocate the disk space to expand C drive with partition resizer. Now the disk one is GPT now. Now it's ready to clone the system disk. First of all, you need to make sure that all volumes and data on this target disk has been back up to another place. Since all data on the GPT target disk will be deleted, the old data will be deleted. Now to clone the disk 0 to disk 1. You go to this place my great OS wizard. And the select destination disk 1. The cloning process requires deleting all current partitions and data. It will be no problem if it's a new disk. To make sure it's safe, you need to back up all the data to go with this option. And later, you need to restart and enter BIOS.
to change legacy into UEFI. Now all the system disk partitions are cloned. The rest shows an allocated space. Here click Apply Changes. Now you need to press your computer BIOS setting key to enter BIOS. Change legacy to UEFI. We use a VMware. So we edit the setting to UEFI on our side. If you keep the disks on the same PC after cloning, you need to change the drive letter at first. Go to BIOS setting and change the boot order. Everything is fine now. Thanks for watching.